there's always a split second before every play where everything just feels silent. And then right away it's just go. I try to tune out all the noise. All I hear is my brothers and my coaches. Watch the ball! Let's go! That's why I love playing. Just block out all the noise and you can focus. I barely hear the crowd anymore. You know, I just go out there, I, I do what I know what I can do. I think a big part of it is the community. It's more of a, um, a brotherhood, the working hard, never giving up, and just giving your all, and just having fun playing the game of football. My name is Jamar Tay Hogan. My name is Kenyatta McGee. My name is CJ Jones. My name is Scotty Stockwell. My name is Marcus Smith. My name is Javier Moody. My name is Kanye Elliott. Ace Thomas. Amir Nixon. Eli Clemmer. Levi Hirono. Amon Parks. Alec Koval. I love football because when I was a little kid, and that was the only sport I wanted to play. Crazy, but I like to hit people. There you go! I see you, I like the, the physicality. I love football because it just lets me release all my stress, all my anxiety. Yeah. I get to be a madman out there. I get to tear it up on the field and just be who I am. Football has taught me to give your all in everything you do. Keep your quarterback upright. I don't want to see it. That's been three sacks already. Keep the quarterback upright. As important as wins and losses are, what we hope is that we have young men that develop character and the stamina to be great people and leaders on the campus, at school, and throughout their life. And ultimately, uh, using that for the next generation um, to continue to make our world a better place. And football taught me so much in life where I kind of owe my heart and soul to the game. It takes a lot to play football, I can tell you that, it's a lot. It's determination, that's for sure. You have to be determined to play. Coaches have taught me to work hard and reach for your goals. Without football, I won't even be at, sitting at this seat right now. It just giving me a life, man. Stay, I can stay out of trouble. complete confidence that God is using these experiences to shape them into the men that he's called them to be. So those are really important experiences that we hope that these seniors and all of our kids bring with them as they leave this place to move on to something else that God has planned for them. I hope that they'll walk away from this with a clearer understanding of who they are as young men in Christ. I love football because um, it's a passion and it's just another way I can try to give glory to God. It's more than a game to me. I wear this cross to represent Jesus and I know that God is by my side at all times and I can do anything through Him. It's an honor to be here, to be a part of growing up as Christian and represent all the other players before me. Because to put on that jersey, you have to go through a lot of hard work and triumphs. And to be able to wear this jersey the last four years is, is greatly an honor. Being an Eagle means a lot to me. You know, I was four or five years old, and I was a, I was a water boy for Coach Fellows. And uh, I always grew up. I've been seeing people that I've been looking up to coming and going through. And now that I'm here, I feel like I wanted to always be like them. And now that I get the chance to, you know, that's big to me. And I'd like the brotherhood, you know, like, because it bring like a group of guys that probably wouldn't talk to each other outside of football, like, because we all come from different, like, paths of life and everything, and just bring everybody together. And we all fight for one common goal, and I just feel good. And it feel good to win. I'd like to win. <laughs>